In this video we will look on React, Node.js file upload and how to bind them properly. And the sponsor of this video is Upload Care. If you want to make possible files uploading on your website, you typically need to build frontend, backend, storing files on either your server or uploading them to CDN. And it's a lot of work. If you want to implement Upload directly from Google Drive or Dropbox, it's even more work. Upload Care solves all these problems at once, and just in several lines of code, you can get all these things out of the box. If you want to check Upload Care, there is a link in the description box below. So really often we need to upload some files from our React application and we want to upload them to our server, which is typically built with Node, because we want to store these files on the backend. The question is how to do that efficiently. And here I already prepared for us a small project. As you can see here, I have three folders, assets, backend and frontend. As you can see inside my assets folder, I have five images that we will upload. Inside backend, I have just source and index.js with plain express application without any logic. It is just a plisin and a course package so we can make requests from our React project to our API. And additionally here we have a frontend application which is a React generated application and inside our app component I simply have a form with input file multiple which actually means it is possible to upload multiple files through this form. And here how it looks on the screen, we can click here choose file, select a file and then click upload and our file must be loaded. Obviously all this logic is not there and we must build it. First of all let's start on the React side. As you can see here we have a form and we have here our input. So what we are doing, we are typically changing our input when we selected some files, which actually means here we must create an unchange method and let's name it change files. So here on the top I want to create change files function where we are getting an event and we can update the list of our files. This is why we must store this list inside some property. And here I want to create a use state where inside we will store our files and we need here a setter for that. This is set files. And here we can use use state and by default we have it as an empty array. Now inside our change files we can read an event and we can write inside our files event.target.files. And it doesn't really matter if we are uploading a single file or an array of files, we can always do both because we have an array. Now at some point we want to submit our form, this is why here let's create on submit and here will be a function upload files. And here on the top I want to create upload files function which must do an API call. For now let's simply console log upload files and the list of files so we can see if it's working. Let's click choose files and open several assets. After this we can click upload files and as you can see the whole page was reloaded because we didn't block our initial form submission which actually means here inside upload files we want to get an event and we want to call here event prevent default which will block the default behavior of the form. Now we can select several files here and click upload. Our page is not reloaded and as you can see here we are getting a list of our files that were stored inside state. And this is exactly what we want to send to our backend. The next question is how we will implement on the backend file uploading. And the most popular package to upload files inside node application is called Multi. And as you can see here, Malta is a Node.js middleware to handle multi-part form data for uploading files. And we can easily bind it to our express application. But most importantly, we must send our files in the specific format as a form data. This is why here we must prepare our files for that. First of all, I want to create here a form data, which is just new form data. And after this we want to save everything in a single field of form data. This is why here we must loop through all our files and write all of them in a single field. This is why here let's write a for and we have here files of files and here we can write form data append 
and our name will be for example photos if we upload our photos but it can be any name your backend just need to read exactly this property and our value here will be file which actually means at the end we will have a form data which is filled with all our files and after this we must make a request to our api and in order to do that i want to use axios and i already have it inside our client and if you don't know, Axios is the most popular way to communicate with our API. This is why here we can use axios.post and we are making a post request on our HTTP localhost 3000 slash files, which actually means our API is running here on localhost 3000 and slash files is a route that we must create in order to get there our files. And we are providing their form data as a second parameter and additionally we must set some headers. And it is important to set correct content type here because our content type must be multi-part form data. If you will omit this content type it will never work because our backend with Malta only will read these files when this content type is set. Now here we have a then and we are getting some response and what I want to do here is simply console log our response that we will get from the backend. And here we will have response.data with all information inside our response. For now it is enough, let's check if it's working. Here I want to choose some files and I want to click upload. And obviously our promise failed because our request does not exist but actually it was going on localhost 3000 slash files and it is a post request. Which actually means now we must jump inside our backend, inside source index and here we must tune our application in order to introduce multi. This is why we must jump to the console of the backend and write here npm install multi. Now what we want to do here, we want to create a new request and it is a post on slash files. And here as a second parameter we want to use a plot from Malta. This is why here on the top first of all we must get Malta by requiring this library Malta. And after this we want to get our upload function by calling Malta and providing inside some options. And our option will be destination uploads. Now here as a second parameter to our app post we can provide a plot that we just created dot array and here inside we are providing a field name and it will be photos. And just to remind you inside our frontend here we wrote inside from data everything in field photos. This is extremely important, this is exactly this property photos. And now here we are getting our callback which will have request and response. And we just want to respond with the files that we saved. This is why here res json and we're throwing inside the list of files from request.files. And essentially you can see that our requests are files that we got from the client. This is completely fine because they have all information that we need in order to do something with them on our client. As you can see I don't have any errors on the backend and let's try to upload our files now. I will select here two avatars and click upload files. And as you can see here we got 200 so our request was fine. And now here is a preview. We got back an array of files and here is how it looks like. We see here a destination, encoding, file name, mime type, size and so on. Most importantly inside my backend folder I have uploads folder and now there are two files inside and essentially these files are exactly the same images but they don't have extension and the name was generated. Which essentially means it is working, we successfully uploaded files on our backend but it is not really in a way how I would like to have it because it is not comfortable to skip an extension and we want to tune that. This is why we don't really want the default way how Multi is working with this upload, we need to customize it more. This is why before we create an upload we can create a storage property. And here we will call storage, and we are providing different options inside. And first of all we need to provide here our destination where we are getting request, file and our callback. And here inside we must call a callback and we are providing inside null, comma, and here will be process cwd plus slash uploads. And you must think what I am doing here at all with the destination. And my main problem is that here inside backend folder I have a source 
And as you can see inside the backend, we are writing all our plots in the root folder plots, which is completely correct, and we want to leave it like this. This is why here inside callback, we must provide as a second parameter a path to our destination. And process CVD means that this is a root folder where our process of node is running, this is our backend folder, slash a plot. This is exactly our folder, which actually means this is the default way where our plots are storing. But now here we want to override our file name. And actually inside file name we are getting request, file and our callback. And here inside our callback we are providing null, then date now, it will be our unique name, plus path.extension name. And here inside I am providing file.original name, which actually means here we are using path to get an extension of our file and we are adding it to some unique date now. Why is that? Because it may happen that we uploaded the file with the same name and we want to make it unique. And it simply concatenates some unique name plus an extension that was there previously. So we successfully created our storage, but we did not use it inside our Malta. This is why instead of this destination, we can provide inside a storage property with our custom configuration. Now let's check if it's working. I will clean everything and just hit a plot. And as you can see, our request failed. Let's check again. As you can see here, path is not defined because I forgot to import it here. So let's create our path and we simply require here the library path. And let's try it again. I'm hitting here a plot file and as you can see now it is 200. Most importantly here, we are getting our file names as some unique date now .jpg. So this is exactly what I wanted to do. And now if we open our uploads, you can see that we uploaded two files with different names but with .jpg extension. So we are using this multi disk storage exactly to configure this logic. The next step that we want to do is to allow our frontend to access these files from the backend at all. Because essentially for now it is not possible, yes we have a plots folder, but it is not binded to some URL. This is why here we can add app use and provide inside express.static and here we will have a static folder. And we can provide here again process.cvd and concatenate it with slash plots. And now this folder will be our folder with static data. So we can jump here to our plots and simply take some file. And then we are writing in browser localhost 3000 slash and our file and I am hitting here enter. And as you can see now we are getting our image which is completely correct because now we made this file available as a static image. And the last thing that I want to do inside our client, inside React, I want to render images after we got them back. As you can see here we have a response with our data, which are files, but we don't render them on the screen. This is why what I want to create here is one more state, and I want to store here a list of images, which is just an array of strings. And here will be set images. And here I want to use your state hook, and by default it's an empty array. Now inside our then, I can simply call set images and provide inside response.data. But actually this is not correct because this contains an array of objects which are files but we just want to save our images which are file names. This is why here let's call response data map and we are getting access to every single file and we simply want to read file.filename. Now we must provide these file names inside our set images. And last but not least, let's render them inside this div. So it will be just a map for our images. We are getting access to every single image and we want to render an image with our key, which will be an image, and then our source. And our source must be a string because here we want HTTP localhost 3000 slash and here will be our unique image name with extension. Let's check if it's working. I want to open our client, let's make it smaller. And now here I want to choose two files for example. I'm hitting here open and I click upload files. As you can see here we are getting an error, response data map file is not a function, which is essentially correct because actually we saved our response inside files property. So here it should be response.data.files. 
Let's try again. I upload two files. I click upload files. And here they are. These are two files that we got back from the backend. And here in the network, we can see that it was exactly this response. So here is this file name that we concatenated with our path to localhost 3000. So this is how you can upload files with React and Node. But you might also want to upload your application to production. And actually I made a full video how to deploy your project either on Versal or Netlify and which one is better. This is why don't forget to check it in this video.